Childbirth, a moment of joy and anticipation, can sometimes take a terrifying turn. Imagine a silent storm brewing, unseen and unpredictable, capable of transforming this beautiful experience into a fight for survival. This is the stark reality of amniotic fluid embolism, a rare but devastating childbirth complication. Although uncommon, AFE is a leading cause of maternal death during labor, demanding urgent attention and immediate medical intervention. AFE does not discriminate, affecting women of all ages, races, and health backgrounds. It can strike swiftly and without warning, often leaving medical professionals in a race against time to save both mother and baby. Understanding AFE, recognizing its signs, and knowing how to respond quickly can be the difference between life and death. Amniotic fluid embolism occurs when amniotic fluid containing fetal cells, hair, or other debris enters the mother's bloodstream. This intrusion triggers a catastrophic chain reaction within the mother's body, similar to a severe allergic reaction. The immune system, mistaking these particles as foreign invaders, launches a massive attack. This response leads to widespread inflammation, blood clotting abnormalities, and a sudden drop in blood pressure, ultimately compromising the function of vital organs, including the heart and lungs. The exact cause of AFE remains elusive, adding to the complexity and fear surrounding this condition. However, research suggests that certain factors such as advanced maternal age, placental abruption, and C-section delivery might increase the risk. The unpredictable nature of AFE makes early recognition crucial for improving maternal and fetal outcomes. Understanding the signs and symptoms can make a significant difference in the response time and the effectiveness of the treatment provided. Symptoms often manifest suddenly during labor or immediately after delivery, mimicking other pregnancy-related complications, which can complicate diagnosis. This sudden onset can be alarming and requires immediate medical attention to ensure the safety of both mother and child. Sudden and severe shortness of breath is often the first warning sign, accompanied by a rapid heart rate and a plummeting blood pressure. These symptoms can escalate quickly, making it essential to act fast. The mother might experience chills, nausea, vomiting, and a sense of impending doom. These symptoms can be distressing and should not be ignored. In severe cases, seizures, cardiac arrest, and even death can occur. Immediate medical intervention is critical to manage these life-threatening situations. Time is of the essence. If you notice any of these symptoms during labor or shortly after birth, it's vital to alert your healthcare provider immediately. Quick action can save lives and prevent further complications. Remember, it's always better to err on the side of caution when it comes to your health and your baby's well-being. Trust your instincts and seek help if something feels wrong. Hash hash section four, a race against time, immediate risks and outcomes. The sudden onset of AFE triggers a cascade of life-threatening complications, demanding swift and decisive medical intervention. The massive immune response can lead to cardiopulmonary collapse, where the heart and lungs struggle to function effectively. Blood clotting disorders, a hallmark of AFE, increase the risk of severe bleeding, further complicating the situation. This combination of respiratory distress, heart failure, and hemorrhage creates a perilous situation for the mother, with potential long-term health consequences. The fetus, deprived of oxygen and vital nutrients due to the mother's compromised state, also faces significant risks. The longer the delay in treatment, the greater the likelihood of brain damage, developmental issues, or even fetal demise. Hash hash section five, when tragedy strikes. Real life stories. Despite its rarity, AFE leaves behind a trail of heartbreak and resilience. Families are often left grappling with the sudden and unexpected loss of a loved one, trying to make sense of the tragedy. Countless families bear the emotional scars of this devastating complication, highlighting the urgent need for greater awareness and research. The emotional toll is immense, and the ripple effects are felt by entire communities. One such story is that of Sarah, a healthy young mother expecting her second child. Her excitement and anticipation were palpable as she prepared to welcome a new life into the world. Her labor progressed smoothly until a sudden shortness of breath and chest pain sent shockwaves through the delivery room. The atmosphere shifted from joy to panic in an instant. Despite the best efforts of the medical team, Sarah succumbed to AFE, leaving behind a newborn and a grieving family. The loss was profound and the impact on her family was immeasurable. 
Sarah's story, while tragic, underscores the unpredictable nature of AFE and the importance of early recognition and intervention. It is a stark reminder of the fragility of life and the need for vigilance. It serves as a stark reminder that even seemingly routine pregnancies can take a turn for the worse, emphasizing the need for preparedness and prompt action. The medical community must continue to strive for better outcomes through research and education. Hash hash section 6. Battling the storm treatment and medical response. Currently, there is no cure for AFE, making supportive care the cornerstone of treatment. The primary focus is on stabilizing the mother's condition and ensuring adequate oxygen supply to both mother and baby. Medical interventions often involve mechanical ventilation to assist breathing, blood transfusions to address blood loss and clotting abnormalities, and medications to support heart function and blood pressure. In some cases, emergency C-section may be necessary to deliver the baby quickly and improve the mother's chances of survival. The multidisciplinary approach to AFE treatment requires a coordinated effort from obstetricians, anesthesiologists, respiratory therapists, and critical care nurses. Their expertise and rapid response are crucial in mitigating the life-threatening complications of this condition. Hash hash section seven. Knowledge is power, prevention and early action. While the exact cause of AFE remains unknown, understanding the risk factors and recognizing the early warning signs can significantly improve outcomes. This knowledge empowers both healthcare providers and expectant mothers to take proactive steps in managing their health. Open communication with your healthcare provider throughout pregnancy is essential, allowing them to monitor your health closely and address any concerns promptly. Regular checkups and honest discussions about any symptoms or worries can make a significant difference. While AFE is a rare complication, it's crucial to remember that knowledge is power. Educating yourself about potential risks and staying informed about your health can help you feel more in control and prepared. Familiarize yourself with the symptoms and advocate for yourself if you notice anything unusual during labor or after delivery. Trust your instincts and don't hesitate to seek medical help if something feels off. Time is of the essence when it comes to AFE, and immediate medical attention can be the difference between life and death. Quick response and timely intervention are critical in managing this condition effectively. By staying informed, staying vigilant, and staying proactive, we can work together to navigate the silent storm of AFE and protect the precious lives of mothers and babies. Every bit of knowledge and preparedness can contribute to a safer and healthier pregnancy journey.